Welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the four new creatures added to Ark Fjordor that are behind us right now. We're going to be having a quick look at all their abilities and what you could use for them in this creature spotlight. I'll be telling you how to tame these creatures, but we're making separate videos on actual how to tame these in the wild. Let's get into it. We're going to start this off by looking at the Andrew Sarkis, first of all. This is the creature up close and personal. It looks a little bit funky compared to the modded version, but I quite like it still. I think it looks pretty neat. So taming this creature, you can tame pretty much instantly, sort of like a horse. You want to try and feed it honey and then ride it, and that you'll have little arrows point up on screen, and you're pointing left or right. Uh, taming is pretty easy. It's a passive tame. Once you have tamed it, you can ride it without a saddle, which is pretty cool. For the first part of the video, we're going to use it without a saddle. And then we're going to use it with a saddle. Turning circle is not the best. So the main utility for this creature is going to be movement and just getting away. One of the primary controls we have are a bite, which does quite a bit of damage. And then we've also got a back kick, which will do a stun effect to creatures. And like I predicted with my video when I originally spoke about this guy, you are going to be able to have a speed boost the faster you run. So as you can see, we're picking up a bit of momentum and we'll be able to run through resources while we're picking up this momentum, which is pretty cool. This guy can also jump pretty far, which is nice. You can also do speed boost by hitting C on the control. So we're running with shift, but you can press C and it will do this little speed boost, which will make you run a little bit quicker. And you've got three of these before you need to recharge. You see, it's recharging right now. If we hit it again, we'll have this speed boost and then it will run out. So we can't use it again until the timer is filled. This is not all this creature could do. Once you've attached the turret, you get a slide ability as well. So we're going to attach the turret right now. And this guy gets all armored up. It looks very cool. The minigun's on top. Now, you still have all the same abilities as before. When running at full speed, if you shift the camera behind you, you'll do a little slide. It's pretty cool. As you can see at the bottom, there is a cooldown for this. Though. So basically, you could be running at full speed. All you got to do is turn the camera to the side or whatever, and you'll do this little cool little slide. It looks very awesome. And of course, once the turret's attached, you can press control on the keyboard, and it will turn into turret mode. But you can still use WADS to sort of move the main creature but then your mouse is just moving this turret which eventually you can shoot with the right click and he uses advanced rifle bullets it flies through them it's insane stat wise is level 150 it's got decent weight just under a thousand weight close to 5000 health decent stamina so overall you can use this as a little weight guy especially if you're carrying a bunch of ammo overall the andrew sarkis is a very cool addition to arc survival evolve the next creature i want to show you is fenrir wolf i love this creature just the look of it all and all that it is essentially a dire wolf there's no hiding this it's essentially a dire wolf and it has got a few cool little attacks so we've got the left click which is a normal bite that will do a decent amount of damage we also have the right click which will do this other bite this bite will cause creatures to slow down and it will be more damage per second for example if we try it on these guys down here there we go we froze that guy down so he's moving really slow it's pretty cool and it's doing a little bit of damage over time very cool this guy could also jump not as good as the andrew sagas to be honest it doesn't seem to jump as far but it is quite a fast tame anyway and then finally you have a c mode if you click c you can see it changes because this little explode thing you get some buffs down the bottom. As you can see, we've got a little buff down the bottom. This is hardened mode. So you can see that we've got all this sort of spikes over us. This is hardened mode. It means you've got a little bit more defense, which is pretty cool. And as you press it again, we will get rid of that. And you're back to normal mode, which is your DPS. The damage per second, high damage per second. But if you're in damage per second and you go into defense mode, it will do this explosion, which will do damage around you as well, which is pretty cool. Now, this feature might be good if you're raiding. You're going to do some damage definitely reduce damage is pretty cool but it is all reliant on stamina so make sure you got enough stamina on this guy if you want to use that mode stats wise overall it's a bit average team a bit the same sort of weight of andrew sarkis stamina is the same and a bit less health but as you can imagine melee will be a lot stronger on this guy that is fenrir wolf we will show a video on how to tame this next up is the fjord hawk which is a very cool creature again acts as a shoulder pet but also your own personal death recovery mod to tame this guy you want to kill creatures around it and the more weight that creature has this guy will come and swoop in and basically eat it up and get a little percentage towards the taming it's going to be a tedious tame but it's going to be worth it in the end because this guy basically becomes your own death recovery. For example, we're going to put our bed there and we're now going to go and uh, essentially kill ourselves. Let's fly over here. Here we go. These guys should be able to finish us off. Oh, there's a load here. Lovely. As you see, we've also got a injured finder for creatures, which is very cool. Sort of like what the dire wolves do, but it's going to be permanent on your back. This might be good for finding your creature if it's injured. Okay, guys, just finish me off. Come on. 
right there we go so we died you saw fjord hawk flew off and also took some of our items they don't take as much items as it can carry we're now going to respawn at the bed and fjord hawk should appear there we go a little bag left right out of our bed beautiful and fjord hawk right next to us little x marks a spot little skull you can drag your stuff into there it is not everything that we got i don't think or oh, it might be actually it might have got everything which is very cool because we were overweight and that's pretty much the funness of this fjord hawk as you saw you get a little damage notification to let you know how weak a creature is you can also send this guy into battle like any other creature and it will harvest that creature for you and get a good amount of meat from it okay that's good there's fjord hawk Super easy to tame, a little bit tedious, invaluable when it comes to actually bringing back your items. Finally, the Desmodus. Probably the most scary one of the group and maybe the best one. This is a giant bat. Flying speed is relatively slow in comparison to most creatures, but it does look amazing. Look at this guy, it's scary. To tame this guy, it's gonna be like a Bloodstalker. You wanna fill your inventory with blood packs and then you wanna be able to get snatched up by this guy and it will start eating the blood packs out of your inventory. And that's how you're going to tame this guy. You're going to fly like every other creature. You're going to press space or whatever it is on your controller or whatever. And that's how you're going to fly with this guy. This creature will produce this elixir though for 200 blood packs. Which it will collect from eating creatures. Which we'll talk about in a sec. It tastes salty and metallic yet still strangely alluring to hungry creatures. It means it will attract creatures to you from my understanding. We'll test that out in this video. So the controls on this guy are a little bit different from the other ones. It's a little bit more complex. You do have the quick left click attack, as you can see like this. But just a little bite, a little swipe. When maneuvering, you can hold down right click or your right trigger button. And it will be able to go invisible, but this only works at night apparently. By just pressing the right click though, you can pick up creatures. And once the creatures are in your claws like this, you can hit the left click and you can start eating it up which will give you blood packs. Not only can you get blood packs from attacking creatures, when you harvest the creatures, you are guaranteed to get spoiled meat, meat, and extra blood packs. So as you can see, it's going to be pretty cool going around with this guy and just attacking stuff. There we go. We've got some extra blood packs. Very cool. It will heal this guy a little bit as well, which is very nice. Yeah, super easy to get yourself some blood packs. As you can see as well, you can fly in any direction like a tape driver. You see how it goes back and forth and all that? So you have complete control over this creature. Maneuverability is so easy on this. And it can also latch on two sides. We'll try and latch onto this. There we go. Just like this. We we'll latched onto a side. Looks very cool. We could actually get weapons out on the back of this, which makes it amazing for trying to shoot creatures or knock out creatures. Or maybe in PvP, you try and do some of that. When you are latched, though, you can go invisible in the day. So this is by holding right click down. It can go invisible. Very cool. Just to get out of this, you've got to just jump and you'll get come out of that, which is pretty awesome this next one by holding down r you'll get up this little wheel and you can turn on life steal what this will do is when you find yourself a creature that you can pick up or kill for example this dodo as you can see it's got little blood bag sign in the corner and you're actually draining the life out of this so instead of collecting the blood bags you're actually healing your creature and then once it dies you can't get any blood bags from it which is pretty cool it's a really good way to quickly try and get yourself healed up if you're running a bit low on health and as you can see just for eating all these you get blood bags really quickly which eventually you can craft into this this guy is probably the most interesting creature out of all the new creatures but the one thing that i did forget to mention if you hold down left click it will do a little scare pulse which should scare away creatures or at least show you where creatures are as you can see as the echo pulse goes away you're seeing all these creatures which is very cool and they'll just keep pulsating so at night time, this will be a really cool little thing. Echo detect where you can see where creatures are. If you hold down left click again and let go, you do it again. As you can see, these creatures will ping. Probably one of the best features of this guy, especially if you play PvP. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that at night, if you hold R down again, you can actually turn on night vision. Once you turn on night vision, obviously you get this really cool looking red glow. And it's all like a pulsation. Now when you're going around with the pulsing, you can see creatures highlighted, which is pretty cool. And again, you can just go and eat them up for some resources, some of those nice blood bags. And there we have it. These creatures are the new creatures that have been added to Arfjord. Or we've gone through them all very quickly in their abilities. I'll make videos on all of these on the best way to tame them. So make sure to check out the channel for that. So subscribe for more if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Bye.